what is up YouTube oh man I just got home from a trip to Sacramento California I went out there to hang out with and make some YouTube videos for my buddy Chad Mendez I'm sure some of you know him he's a UFC fighter and he's got a fight coming up July 14th in Boise Idaho which is so crazy because I literally just got home and I have like today and half a day tomorrow and then me Casey and Brian and Casey's wife Kaylee and Brian's wife Corey and my girlfriend Bridget we are all taking a trip somewhat of a hush vacation trip with the ladies to Boise Idaho this weekend to watch a Joe Rogan in person so su super excited for that but I really don't have much time home and you can see as usual I have a huge mess to take care of and uh, pack up for the trip anyways I just want to share some of the clips I filmed while I was out there with Chad some of him training with his uh, team alpha male team members and some of the other UFC fighters and then I also want to show you some of his mounts he's got some really cool stuff Chad has killed some great animals over the years so we took a look at his mounts but anyways guys I'm gonna unwind unpack repack and get ready and in the meantime you guys can enjoy some of the footage from out in California well we made it to uh, Chad's gym where he trains this is Uriah Favorites gym here in Sacramento all the fighters are down there warming up I've been filming Chad on the big camera but uh, so far, just checking out the facility, this is the, the mats, the pads, everybody's doing warm-ups down there. Well guys, like I said, I want to show you Chad's trophy room. He's got a pretty in, uh, impressive little man cave here. Yeah. <laughs> He's more crammed than the barnwood wall is. <laughs> so these three right here are all Cali Blacktail. I shot these two with my bow. Um, these, these two actually I got where I took you. Oh yeah? Yeah. That's a cool country out there. And then this one was up north a little further. He's sweet. They're so pretty. This is your late season buck. That video oh, on yeah. your YouTube channel is so cool. Yeah, this Go. was this was busted off. We got this side fixed. Yeah, they did a good job. Yeah, Way but good we job. have pictures of them on a the trail cam. Yeah, huh? and that's I mean that's pretty much identical. There's that. This is uh, Alberta. Yeah, that was my Alberta buck. That's an archery uh, buck. Spotting stock of the bow. Yeah. His first Utah buck. Yep. Now, we're gonna go take a look at the moose. <laughs> this thing. Bullwinkle. Uh huh. I saw it for the first time the other day. I think it's giant. You can't even put it in perspective <laughs> how big that thing is. Yeah, that was cool. And I got drawn for a tag in Alaska, it was a uh, Koyukuk region. And he's two by three, so he stood doesn't up. qualify. Nope. And so we're trying to measure. <laughs> you know, he's standing there looking at us at about I don't know 50, 60 yards, and I'm like, I, I mean, they all look big to me. You know, a 50-inch moose looks huge, and so we're sitting there for like two or three minutes trying to debate whether we thought he was over 50 and he, he turns and we got the backside and both of us were like he's over pull the trigger smoking <laughs> him yeah he tipped over right there we went down there and measured him he was 63 dang man that thing's huge this is one thing that's on my bucket list a bunch of other animals couple of bulls from utah a little white tail, fallow deer, red stag. This is the one from mine and your hunt. Oh yeah, this is the one we did a semi live series. That was, I still get a lot of people talking about that yeah, hunt. That was, we need to do it again. We really do. Maybe somewhere else though. Yeah. <laughs> that was so tough. There's no elk there anymore. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of the stuff from out in California. Again, I had a great time. So thanks to Chad for hosting me. Um, he'll be having videos on his channel by the way if you want to go check out his MMA training I got to show you guys something so two things I got a package from first light from some of their new 2018 Apparel and then look what we just got in hand. Oh boy. I'm excited about these 
So last year we did sell the First Light Fusion and Cypher bent brim camo hats embroidered just like this. So now we finally have one that I'm gonna like, which is the flat bill version. So there's Fusion and there's Cypher. Same hat, flat bill, snap back on the back, a hush embroidery hit on the side. And I'm just using this little light box right here to take some pictures for our website. Yes, we actually do most of our website. We do all the product imagery, images and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna take pictures for that. We're gonna get these uploaded. This should be available this weekend, guys. So watch our website at gethushin.com for those to go live most likely Sunday after the Thursday we put this up. So check that out. I just got my order of First Light when I walked in. It was out, it was inside. So here's a men's kiln hoodie. What else did I get? A neck gaiter, gaiter for my boots, some thermals. I like the three quarter length ones. I got some boxer shorts, gonna give those a try. And uh, yeah, here's the new pieces, most of them anyways. Here's the Corrugate Guide Pant by far my favorite pant super stretchy super comfortable great for those high country hikes steep mountains where you literally are lifting your knees up a lot i like that's why i like that pant so much got me some gloves and there's one i really wanted to see after casey did his video the klamath hoodie this is one i was really excited to try on so i'm looking forward to the klamath hoodie and the soft shell jacket let's see if i can find it there it is, the Catalyst soft shell jacket. So cool, I got that one in dry earth. Just do some solids this year with a little mixture of uh, fusion camo. I do have some cypher, but personally I prefer fusion. I'm curious, what do you guys think? Cypher or fusion? Put a comment below. All right, and also guys, before I end this little piece of the vlog, I had to update you guys on this because this is fresh news that I just got. It's about the First Light giveaway. So if you guys want a chance to win some First Light gear, which is a $500 gift card. That way you can choose the gear and the sizes and everything for exactly what you want. Here's the rules. You must take a photo of First Light, whether you're using it, wearing it, your dog has it in its mouth, like it doesn't matter. First Light has to be in the picture. Take a photo and post it up on Instagram and hashtag FL gear drop. So in order to make sure that you are entered in, you want to double check the hashtag. So again, FL stands for First Light gear g-e-a-r drop d-r-o-p post your picture hashtag first light gear drop they're going to be giving away a ton of gift cards and uh, we thought you guys might want to know so anyways i'll catch you guys later all right guys today first off good morning good afternoon good evening whatever it might be today is a day i've been looking forward to for i think 18 or 19 months do you guys know what it is i do don't tell him do you know what it is I just thought it was appropriate to use the uh, new Benchmade Altitude to open this. We have that out for nine. What do you think it is? Don't open it. Toy. A toy? Close your eyes. Is your eyes closed? Your eyes aren't closed. Tighter. Tighter. Close them. Close them. No. No, open them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. If you guys watched the Semi Live series, me and my little brother Logan went to Colorado and we shot a couple mountain lions. I have a feeling this is Logan's mountain lion because it was a giant. Look at that. Is that crazy to think those are out roaming around? Mommy! Look how big that is. Gage is probably around, how tall are you? 55 inches. Check that out. So I'm pretty sure that's Logan's cat. Officer, we checked Logan's cat in. Said it was the biggest cat he's ever checked in. Which I think he's only been working there for like five or six years. But anyway, it's a giant cat. I, I don't know how big. It was like 150 pounds, 155 pounds, something like that. Look how giant that thing is. Now let's put mine up next to it. Mine was a good Tom. It was probably 125, 130 pound Tom. Much bigger this thing is. Like it's a little brother. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not big. It doesn't look much bigger, but uh, it definitely is a lot bigger. I remember the scar on it when I shot it. We didn't know what it was from, but 
still has the scar. Why is it that when you do bear and mountain lion rugs, the edges are so like riffly? I don't like that. It looks weird. And I can't remember the reason why he told me they do that, do that but he found a way that it, uh, I didn't have to have riffled edges. That's what it's called, riffled edges. So I said, I don't want really riffled edges, but he found a way to do it. It looks pretty sweet, I think. It was uh, Dusty from non-typical taxidermy and he is out of Delta, Colorado. So if you guys are in that area looking for some mounts uh, to be done, I would say, I think he does specialize in mountain lions for sure. So there they are kind of side by side. But uh, yeah, that's Logan's. That was mine. That was one of my favorite semi-life series we did. It was just like a five day series. Killed mine the first day and then hunted really hard for the next two days. And on the very last day, Logan killed his. If you guys haven't watched it, I'll link it down below, but go check it out. I don't know if I'll ever shoot another cat again. I would like to. Um, and the reason being is because we enjoyed the meat so much. And it's probably hard for some of you guys to believe, but mountain lion meat, I've talked to numerous people out there that say it. It is one of the best meats in the woods. And you guys hear me say that all the time, but it really is if you enjoy pork. If I was to cook you, if I had any left, we ate through it pretty fast, but if I was to cook you up a steak off this mountain lion and didn't tell you what it was, and then uh, you ate it, you would I would assume 99% of people would say that's really good pork. And so it was delicious, but I want to kill another cat just to eat it. Anyway, they're here. I gotta find somewhere to put all this stuff. So, just got started trying to get things uh, fine-tuned and sided in here. I set up a vertical and horizontal cross piece of tape, which is going to help me out, and I'll show you how we're looking so far. So my first couple shots were a little bit low and left, so I made a few different adjustments, but this gives me an opportunity to see if my left to right is, is on, and then obviously my up or down. You can see two of the three are in the tape, so that's a good sign likely shooter error right here. So for some of you guys that are newer into archery, you're just trying to maybe sight in your very first bow. If you are high, the easiest way to remember this is just follow your sight adjustment whichever way you're missing. So if you were high in this case, and you're looking at this particular arrow, you would wanna just bump up your sight pin or if you're really high, you could just move the whole cage up. That's even better. So if you were to miss left, you would want to just move your sight adjustment left. So easy way to remember, follow your arrow. That's how you make your adjustment to bring it back in and get it completely sighted in. So I'm pretty happy with how this is so far. I'll probably shoot a few more arrows and just validate that we're good, obviously, uh, left and right, up and down. So far, so good. And this is at 30 yards. I like to run my sight pins 30. 40, 50, 60, then I can slide from there. With these newer bows, 20 yard shot, the arrow's traveling fast enough that I don't really need to make a huge adjustment. I can just use my 30 yard pin. It gives me one more fixed pin out to 60 yards. I probably wouldn't shoot many situations beyond 60. Uh, it would have to be really ideal. When we're shooting like total archery challenge, for example, practicing, for example, beyond 60, you have a fixed pin that just slides. The next step is once I get this sighted in, I'll get my 30 through 60 stationary pin sighted, and then we will have Jeremiah and the guys build a sight tape. And we'll probably make a separate video describing what they do to make a sight tape. There's a lot of ways to do it. They've got a pretty good system that we've used the last few years. It's proven to be very accurate, and they just take a few measurements, and then they plug it into a system they have custom for every shooter. So I'm gonna get back to shooting my bow, get this thing sighted in. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog this week. Make sure you check us out every Thursday kind of just a weekly recap of what's going on, what's new, what's fun, hit that subscribe button. Please do us a favor, really appreciate it.